Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started so guys uh, as usual we start with the dixie checking what happened last week and uh, look forward for the upcoming week checking the daily time frame we see that it's been a pretty boring week on most market even on the dollar until friday where we've got a nice bullish engulfing candle here so um the the rounded bottom we start having here showing potential correction up on the dollar uh, right now and if we check the weekly time frame and go uh, candle for candle analysis we see that after this nice momentum to the downside things start to slow down a little bit we've got much smaller body candle a doji candle here on the weekly with a lower low to then get another doji candle with a higher low here as you see and a little bit of a bigger body and last friday a much bigger body on the candle in a bullish body with another higher low again so it is making this rounded uh, bottom here now and the expectation is maybe to see a little bit of a correction to the upside to then look for one more leg to the downside so if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that this area at around the 89 90 level here still holding a support we have this uh, triple bottom and uh, a broken neckline and a nice push to the upside so for next week and um, i'm watching this previous high any break above this high could signal further upside on the dollar it, uh, early next week i'm looking also for a little bit of a correction down here to see if we got some kind of a retest of this neckline to then look for uh, this bounce to the upside i do like the rounded bottom we have here on the dixie and expecting a little bit further upside on the dollar the upcoming week checking gold we have the opposite is happening we're having a rounded top here on gold checking the daily time frame nice rounded top still above the trend line though but keep in mind that last week we've got this lower high which confirming that after this break we've got a lower high which could be a confirmation that we might see a little bit of a correction down on gold so if we go down to the four hour time frame we see it clearly here as well after this break to the downside we broke structure the market did a retest and there was attempt to break higher they failed all of them and we went back down so there was no break above these previous highs and that's why i'm looking for a potential uh, bearish move on gold especially if we get a break of the trend line here that might uh, send gold lower so 1850 first uh, level of interest to then start look at around this area down here or um, 1810 down here also as a potential market objective if gold breaks the trend line oil still bullish looking nice here checking the weekly time frame there is no trouble on the way whatsoever as a structure on the chart or the only structure we have left here is at around the 75 area on the weekly time frame and i'm thinking that the bulls will not give up without testing that 75 area so my expectation is potentially further upside on oil the big question the big question is how big of a correction we're gonna get before that continuation is it just one leg down and a continuation or is it uh, potentially gonna do a retest of this area at around 6850 to then move up so the first level of interest would be this area down here about at around 6850 if that hold as nice support i think we might see further upside if we start having some kind of a correction on uh, this market next week EURUSD uh, as usual this does the opposite of the Dixie and this is giving us a nice rounded top here we've had this bearish divergence earlier and we've got the 
neckline broken here another lower high and it seems like we might see the retest of 1.20 here on um, the euro usd so uh, going down to the lower time frame we had the break of the trend line we had another break lower and a failure to break higher which gave us yet another lower high and um, friday was a strongly bearish day here so expectations for next week maybe early next week a little bit of a correction maybe a retest of this broken neckline to then start looking for maybe a rotation back down on euro usd sterling still going sideways pretty boring here uh, been like three weeks or so inside this range but what's very interesting here that the highs here are getting uh, lower each and every time they fail to break higher so there is big pressure coming from above here and pressing this market i'm expecting this market to potentially break lower next week give us a retest and then at least one more leg down toward 1.40 area so any retest back toward these levels before the break would be a potential sell in my opinion to then look for a break and continuation that is my plan for the sterling uh, on next week usd jappy also still holding here uh, no break below uh, 10920 and uh, we've got a nice uh, little higher low here on the daily time frame which could be a sign that we might get a retest of this level next week so it is pretty interesting but still not clear yet i want to see a break above this area here if that would be the case then we are looking for a retest of this previous high and maybe even these areas up here as well at around the 111 okay so as far as there is no break below these areas i'm still looking to buy this level and if we get the break i'm looking also to buy the retest of that broken neckline usd chief uh, still uh, holding support here so we have a potential double bottom on the daily time frame there was never a break and close below this level and on friday we've got this nice bullish engulfing after having a hammer here followed by an inverted hammer and now we had a, a bullish engulfing candle so things are looking uh, good for this market to reverse with a, a huge divergence on the rsi daily time frame so that's another confluence here and uh, i do like the bounce here this to me is more than just a profit taking move so this could be new um, uh, bulls entering the market so as far as this market is holding above this level here I'm uh, interested to look for buys from this area if, if we got retest or if we start having some kind of a consolidation, some kind of a bullish flag here, also to look for something like this to happen and look for a break out of the flag as a, as a buy signal. USD CAD um, been sideways for a very long time, did a nice rounded bottom here. We had also a break and close on the daily outside of the range for the first time in a while now. We've got this uh, break, uh, break out with a close outside. If we check the weekly, the same here. After a couple of dojis, we're having a nice bullish engulfing candle with a close above the highs. That's another signal for potential continuation higher. And we'd had this uh, break to the upside on the four hour time frame. So it is looking very good the the uh, <clears throat> the the push here was a nice one to then see that this level been acting as nice support kept acting as support to then see the break so next week uh, i'm gonna watch the correction here we'll see if this is gonna give us a correction back down maybe toward this broken structure if we get such a correction that going slowly i'm interested to look if we're gonna get any bullish evidence inside this area to look for further upside on uh, usd cat aussie uh, still inside the range pretty boring but the same here since we had these getting higher we've getting the opposite on aussie usd they are the highs are getting lower here uh, lower high uh, at the top here then another lower high here here and also the whole last week they failed to break higher so there is a pressure to the downside if you want to play this safe i would recommend you to wait for the break out of the range first to then look for retest continuation 
or if you want to play it a little bit risky you wait for the retest of this broken structure here look for bearish evidence here and then you look for a potential sell either something like this or a bearish flag something like this would be also doable if we see the flag um, forming here to then see the breakout and then look for a sell that is also another scenario to wait for on aussie usd new zealand usd same scenario as as aussie usd sitting back at support here we've start getting lower highs all the way We've got this retest that I mentioned the, uh, the last week and we've got this double top and yet another strong impulse still sitting at support though. So even here, if you want to play this safe, you need to wait for a further break to the downside to then start looking for retest and then continuation. The less safer scenario is at least a retest of this broken structure on the lower time frame. We look for something like that and then we start looking for the uh, sell signal depends on how you play uh, your trades whatever sell, sell signal you have you need to look at that sell signal around this area up here so um, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot and uh, see you next sunday bye bye